Hello everyone. I am Sinthil. With pleasure, I welcome you all to learn computer science with me. What is digital logic? Why we are studying digital logic? And how it is related to the field of computer science? Let's address these questions. Instead of answering these questions one by one, what we are going to do is to collectively answer them. So electricity is all around us. It powers laptop, mobile phones, tablet, and any smart devices. So digital logic is nothing but a manipulation or control of electric current through a printed circuit board that uses transistor to implement computer operations. In other words, you are watching this video because your computer or mobile phone is manipulating or controlling the flow of electric current in such a way to show me on your device screen. So in summary, there are two important things needed to build and run a computer. The first one is electric current and the second one is the way to control the flow of electric current. So what is electric current? Once we know answer to this question, we can look at how to control the flow of electric current. Electric current is nothing but a flow of electrons in a conductor material such as copper. The name electricity is actually derived from the word electron. So what is an electron and how does it flow? So all matter in this universe is made up of atoms. So even we are made up of atoms. Uh, an atom consists of electrons, protons and neutrons. So by default, an atom contains an equal number of electrons and protons. Note that the electron present in an atom can move out of it. When it does, the number of electrons in that atom becomes lower than the number of protons. So after losing a few electrons, the atom becomes a positively charged ion. So on the other hand, electron can move into atom. When it does, the number of electrons in that atom becomes higher than the number of protons. So after gaining electrons, the atom becomes a negatively charged ion. We can ignore how it loses or gains electrons as we don't need to dive into much details here. So in a battery, you can see positive or negative sides. The positive side has atom with more protons. On the other side, that is the negative side, each atom exists with more electrons. When these two sides are connected through a conductor material such as copper, as shown in this circuit, the electron from the negative side move to the positive side because the positive side kind of attracts the negative side. When the flow of electrons happen, the electric current is produced. The flow of electron makes a bulb glow. Note that the electrons are not connected consumed by the bulb, but they just flow through as the water flows through a pipe to reach its destination. So let's experiment with a real battery and an LED light. So this LED light that is a light emitting diode has two terminals. The longer terminal should be connected to the positive side of the battery and the shorter terminal should be connected to the negative side. When we do such connection, the electron flows through from the, the negative side to the positive side of the battery and the LED glows too. Note that it is not recommended to connect the power source directly to the LED without a resistor. Otherwise, the LED would burn out as its power rating is very small usually. Can a flow of current be controlled? Yes, obviously, using mechanical switches. That's what we do in our home to turn on or off a device. Is there any other way to control the flow of electric current? Yes, using transistors, which are made up of semiconductors. A transistor can be seen as an electronic switch. So every computer and smart devices is made up of millions of transistors and it works by controlling the flow of electric current to perform various activities instructed by the computer program. Would you believe if I say we can use this transistor and electric current to perform arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division? Yes, it is possible and that's what the computer do and that is what the digital logic is all about. Hmm. It's not just about arithmetic operation but much more than that. So in this subject, we will learn how to place these transistors to control the electric current or flow of electrons to build mini computers to do arithmetic operations or to remember some numbers, etc. As current can be either on or off, we can use 1 to denote the on state and 0 to denote the off state. We can perform arithmetic operations by controlling the on and off state in the digital logic circuit. For example, we can find the product of 7 and 8 just by controlling the flow of current in a circuit. However, how do we provide inputs such as 7 and 8 to a circuit that is built using transistor? Simple, we can use on and off states to provide input to the circuit. In other words, we can provide a number as an input using specific sequence of electric current. Then the circuit can perform the calculation and output the result by lighting bulbs in a certain sequence. Hmm. So if you do not understand, it is completely fine. We need to first understand the number system, which will help us to find a way to represent any decimal number as a series of on and off state. 
So in the next lecture, we will learn the number system, how to represent positive and negative numbers and also solve related question asked in previous year gate exams. So we have reached the end of this video. By this time, you should know answer to each of these questions. If not, it is completely fine. Please rewatch this video as many times as needed. So please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss any of my lectures.